views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. What dreams may come. Are you seeking personal guidance? Transformation Talk Radio presents Psychic World with John G. Sutton. One of Britain's top clairvoyants is your spiritual guide. Call in 1-800-930-2819. Hello, good evening and welcome to Psychic World. I am indeed John G. Sutton and with me this evening is my incredible co-host, the remarkable Countess Starbella. Good evening, Countess. Good evening, dear friends, and let me tell you, we are very honored to see you tonight. We are indeed. Thank you very much for listening in this evening. Now, you're going to call in. Ladies and gentlemen, you're going to call into the show. The number to call in is one eight hundred nine three zero two eight one nine. And let me tell you a little bit about what Psychic World's all about. Psychic World's all about you. It's all about your dreams, your hopes your aspirations and about where you want to go in life you call in this evening you can speak to us I'm John G. Sutton and the amazing Countess Starella you've got your problems in this very difficult world and it is very difficult at times we'll use our psychic powers to our very best to tune in and help you see the signpost that's going to lead you through to success is that not correct Countess? this is the perfect venue for you to get the love and appreciation that sometimes is missing from the outside world. Here you are with two of your dearest friends and who will be with you as long as we are on the planet to lead you to your greatest happiness. We are here and it's coming to you through the ether via the Transformation Talk Radio Network through the ether via the Transformation Talk Radio Network, and we are going to help you. So call in this evening, 1-800-930-2819. And our specialist subject this evening, Countess, is spirit guides. Now, uh, whether people realize this or not, we all have spirit guides. And spirit guides are with us from before we're born, because I absolutely am certain that before we're born, we are guided towards our parents. And that the spirit guides walk with us all the way through our lives. Spirit guides come, then we'll have numerous spirit guides. One of my regular spirit guides now is my late father. Uh, and my father in life absolutely did not believe in communication through spirit. He was uh, quite a, a religious man at times. Uh, he was a, a Roman Catholic, which is a, a, a well-accepted faith, and he believed uh, and would advise me in very strong terms that I should have nothing whatsoever to do with the communication with spirit, which was very difficult for me because I was just a boy and it was perfectly natural. Uh, uh, did you experience anything like that, Countess? Of course, of course. From very, very young times. Oh... Creatures from the other side speaking, and and a a grandfather as well, but especially I find that artists and scientists and performers l love to come and give me information and advice, even from age six. So hey, you you have a numerous you have numerous spirit guys, but they're linked into your profession because. You come from a family of, uh, of musicians, professional musicians, so you, you would naturally... You see, it's my belief that the spirit world use the best instrument they can get. Right. So if, 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 they, if they want to use somebody who's going to be uh, to, to write, then they'll find the best talent and they will channel the spirit world through them. Now, a lot of people may not realize that this is happening, but when you get inspiration, when you hear that inner voice... It, you are being communicated with. Uh, my friend Colin Wilson, who was a, a he must have wrote 120 books. He, he was an extremely erudite gentleman who'd read absolutely everything. But even he said that when he sat down to write, very often 
that the words that would appear on his telescreen, on his on his word processor, were, were something that was beyond him. He said it came to him as 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 an inspirational text. So he said, although uh, he'd read everything, the actual inspiration came from a, 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 a an outside source, an external source. So he felt that he was being communicated with, uh, and this was a professor of philosophy. You, you, you. When you're working with music, do you feel the same, Countess? Both music and poetry, and the books that I am working on. Also, it's it's almost like an automatic writing. And then when I look at it after, I go, "Goodness, <laughs> how did this happen?" <laughs> it, it, uh, that is absolutely true. I mean, this first occurred to me perhaps 40 years ago when I was a young man and I was watching people playing classical music I've always liked classical music and if you look very careful at people who are in an orchestra playing say the lead violin they are away with the fairies yes they are definitely <laughs> they're, they're definitely not, they're, not, they're not looking at the sheet music they're not looking at anything they are aware and the orchestra is performing like a flock of birds that, 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 that turns and moves on, on a, like a collective mind. They are, they are telepathically interlinked. And I thought uh, this, perhaps 40 years ago, there is definitely a connection here, and they are being guided. Perhaps there's some master uh, in, in the world beyond that's stepping through and directing the audience, along with the conductor, of course. You're a great fan of classical music, Countess? Not only am I a great fan of it, but I can absolutely guarantee you that my mother's wisdom of playing this while she was carrying her children expanded their consciousness, made them very creative, artistic, and aware, and all the children became musicians. Well, you see, the spirit world will be using you because you would be a very good instrument. And the, if you're going to build a house, you'll pick the best tools that you can get to build the house. When the spirit world are, are using their powers to communicate with this world, they will get the best tools that they can get. Uh, people, creative people like Mozart, I mean, to write a, a, a symphony at the age of seven, I mean, come on. Mozart, <laughs> Tchaikovsky, all of them, they're, they're brilliant. They would, be, they would be working with their spirit guides. Yeah. Just as you and I work with our spirit guides. But, I mean, my spirit guide, my particular spirit guide, as I was mentioning, my father, comes through to help me on a very practical basis. Because y your family were a family of musicians, uh, and my family were somewhat authoritarian, shall we say. Mm. Uh, my, fa my father was a, a senior police officer, uh, and uh, his father before him was quite a, a, an astoundingly aggressive man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who, was, who was in charge of people and his father before him was the head of uh, a big estate in uh, the, the county of Lancashire where I come from he ran a big uh, estate for one of the nobles here you know we, we, we had that uh, system in the United Kingdom where people owned vast tracts of land and they would appoint people to be like their head gamekeeper well my great grandfather was the head gamekeeper for a big estate uh, and there's press articles from the past saying that he'd taken his shotgun to people so <laughs> my spirit guides tend to be uh, from my family on the authoritarian side to John, tell him, telling me what to do <laughs> let's catch them right after the break we'll be with you shortly folks flowers in the fields Roses that grow are God's way of letting us know the most beautiful things sent from above. Flowers show us the power of love. Flowers show us the power of love. I was a child, just about three, out in the garden by the old oak tree. Dandelions too Gave them to my mom and said I love you Flowers show us the power of love I was 17 So was she The loveliest girl I ever did see She held 
my hand My heart beat fast I found the one for me at last Lonely times were in my past That Valentine's Day the roses were red I came to her with love the heart said Flowers in the fields Roses that grow Are God's way of letting us know The most beautiful things sent from above Flowers show us the power of love Flowers show us the power of love On our wedding day The bride wore white A love like a flower that blooms so bright With love strong then As it is today Flowering forever in our bouquet The light of love that lit our way Anniversaries came Listen to the Yo! Andrew News Talk Show every Tuesday night at 5 p.m. Pacific Time, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. More info where to listen? www.yoandrewnts.com slash listen. Don't get your message lost in the mail. Email us with this address, yoandrew at yoandrewnts.com. How about tweet Yo! Andrew at andrewtweetgeo. Taking a picture is easy. Instagram us today at yoandrewnts. Psychic World, Wednesday, 8 p.m. Pacific, 11 p.m. Eastern, with John G. Sutton, featuring his special guest, Countess Torella. One of Britain's most respected psychic mediums, John is an internationally published author, poet, and professional clairvoyant. His best-selling books include Psychic Pets, featured with John on the Walt Disney Channel, Animal Planet. Currently, John is the feature editor of the monthly Psychic World, which is the UK's Journal of Spiritualism. He has over 30 years of experience working in the field of paranormal studies. Countess Dorella has an incredible ability to visualize your future in a positive, passionate way. This show offers all listeners Listeners, the chance to call in and speak directly to John or the amazing Countess Torella. You can ask your personal questions about love, career, money, relationships, or whatever is troubling you in this often difficult life. What dreams may come? Join John G. Sutton and Countess Torella to discover your answer. See www.psychicworld.net. Call the Oprah of Radio by her listeners. Award-winning host Dr. Pat Basile is blowing the doors off of traditional talk radio. Get ready for an energizing delivery and powerful interviews with leaders in the field of human potential. Dr. Pat's fresh new perspective on living life full out has catapulted her show to the top of talk radio. Tune in and Dr. Pat will help you thrive instead of merely survive. Visit the drpatshow.com. That's T-H-E-D-R patshow.com for listening times in your area. Laura Longley is on a mission to remove stuckness from your life for good and replace it with happiness. Tune in Mondays at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern, and Tuesdays at 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com for The Laura Longley Show, where authentic change takes flight. Say yes to that inspired you and goodbye to your stuckness as Laura and her guests deliver powerful ways to work through common problems in this fun and unique hit show. Used clinically by top-line doctors, Beyond Balance herbal formulas have helped thousands of patients battle tick-borne disease by providing superior immune system support and enhancing detoxification. Beyond Balance formulas are sold through healthcare professionals. The oral drops contain non-GMO food-grade vegetable glycerin, making them well-tolerated by children and alcohol-sensitive patients. For more information, licensed or certified healthcare practitioners can call BioResource, the exclusive Beyond Balance distributor for the United States and Canada, 800. 800- 203-3775. Good evening and welcome back to Psychic World. I am indeed John G. Sutton and with me is the incredible Countess Starella. We're coming to you through the ether via the Transformation Talk Radio Network. And online at WBLQ.net. We are indeed. And we've got a caller on the line. Could we please speak to Rose? Is Rose there? Hello. Hello, this is Rose. Hello. Hello, Rose. You're sounding wonderful this evening. You've got nice weather down there. Thank you. Thank you. A bit warm. (laughs) 
<laughs> a bit warm, well, that's good. I mean, it's got to beat the freezing cold. I mean, that's what New York's had for, what, six months? I don't know. It's 93 degrees today. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> pretty 93 pretty degrees. Rose, uh, thanks for calling in this evening to Psychic World. Uh, you, you've got a question for us about your career. Uh, just let me tell you the first thing that comes to my mind, yeah? Uh, the first thing that yeah. comes to my mind is that there's two sides to your career. One is your personal career, uh, and, and the other one is the career of your partner. Now, it's the career of your partner that's going to bring in, I feel, uh, quite a, a considerable amount of funds over the next three to six months because I do sense that there's going to be uh, a number of contracts that come to your partner which unfortunately requires him to be out of the area uh, and I do feel that he's got a great deal of travelling to do with this uh, and I see construction work around this man. Tell me I'm correct. Yes, this makes me sad to hear that I was hoping he would be able to manage something here, you know. Well, there will there will be work in in your in your area, but of course, uh, th th there are other projects that he's he's got to undertake uh, at a distance. But that that's all right. I mean, we all have our work to do, and he has got his work to do. But one of the things that uh, is is coming up for you in your career concerns something that you did perhaps fifteen twenty years ago. Does that make any sense to you? Yes. Mm -hmm, because uh, it's being rehashed in some way. Uh, people are looking at work that you've written, done in the past. Do you write, Rose? Yes. Yes, I'm a songwriter. All right. All right. I have a quick word with Countess. Countess is very into music. What, Hi, style, of, what style of music, Rose? What's your, your passion? Oh. All kinds, all kinds. You name it, we'll do it. <laughs> wow. And well, you're right in the heart from... of the place where you can have your maximum success. Do you feel like you're progressing on the path in the right way? I'm doing the best I can do with it, you know. It is a challenging, competitive arena. But for yes. those who have a stoic determination to succeed, yes, indeed. I think you're... Your lucky star is shining on you, and this year and next year should be pretty good, and I would let every possible person know who and where I am so that people can reach out and help you. Yes, yes. That's what I'm trying and, to do. And I would have the affirmation, the universe cooperates with me. Every door of opportunity opens miraculously for me. <laughs> I definitely am working on that. Any good. door that, if I hear a knock, I open the door. Good. That's very good. Uh, uh, Rose, just let me tell you this. Uh, if, we, if we go back, and I keep going back with you, yeah? There was a time yeah. when, 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 you, when people, a lot many people knew your name. Have you actually been a, a, a success in this field? Yes, I have, many years ago. And then I got married and went into being a reclusive songwriter and stopped sort of being quite so famous as I was then, when I was quite young. Mm-hmm. But, but uh, you, 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 well, this evening we're talking about spirit guides, yeah? And, and yeah. there is a spirit guide that comes to you, and I know that you hear this voice, and it's got something to do with, with the water. Does that make some sense to you? Um, it, there's, I'm certainly inspired by a person who drowned... Who was a very great uh, that would, that songwriter. That would probably be it, yeah. Unfortunately, an unfortunate way of putting it to do with the water. But there is definitely well, uh, a spirit it, guide with you. Yeah, I didn't know. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, that's just what happened to him. But Rose, uh, but, oh, excuse me, John. Yeah. Rose, is it okay for you to tell us the name that you use so that we can let people know to be on the lookout for your success? Oh, sure. My name is Rose. My professional name is Rose Whipper. Love it. Rose, Rose Whipper, ladies and gentlemen, that's a name you're going to be hearing a lot of because there's a resurgence in the popularity of your of your back catalogue. Let's let's be straight about this. Rose Whipper, you, you're wondering, is it going to be taken up? Yes, it is going to be taken up. Uh, the money originally comes uh, in to help you do this, of course, uh, and, so, and support the, uh, the next few months. 
through your partner who is going to be a success with his work and I believe that that has got to do with construction so uh, the economy is picking up America is looking great Rose Ripper you're going to be absolutely successful worry not I know you're concerned about uh, family members I feel that your mother's not been well tell me I'm right yes you're right yeah, but your mother is going to be all right. And you have plans to go and see her later this year. Tell that, tell me that's true. Yes. Mm -hmm, yeah, yes. you're going to go and see her, Rose. And when you do, give her a big kiss, because your mother thinks a lot more about you than you might think. Rose, thank you very much for calling in this evening. Thank you so much, John and Countess. Thank, thank you, you very, very evening. much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh my, Rose, that was a very nice call from Rose, yeah, who, who will go on to, uh, to to be a success again. Uh, it's it's pretty rare to get two bites of the cherry, but to, when you're extremely talented, as I believe that Rose is, and you've got uh, the, the facility to do that, and a lot of it's to do with luck, don't you think so, Countess? Timing and luck, but the old saying where preparation meets opportunity... Well, there's a lot of preparation gone in, in, into the past. How can people get hold of the amazing Countess Starella? They may find me at CountessStarella.com or where I daily hang out at Oranum.com. O-R-A-N-U-M, my stomping grounds. That's it. You're on there wearing your feathers and you've got your... You, you, Polly Parrot on the on your shoulder. It's not a parrot, is it? It's a phoenix, isn't it? It's a little baby phoenix. Now, not too many people have them as pets, do they? But, ladies and gentlemen, do go into com. You can find the incredible Countess Starella there. She'd be delighted to speak to you, amaze you, and astound you. And uh, usually you're wearing feathers, purple hair, or some incredible outfit that is definitely in tune with the spirit world because the spirit world enjoys us having a good time they want to see us smile they want to see us laugh and they want to hear music and very often music is the key to actually channeling spirit and you make music as well do you sing in your room countess yes i do i see what the likes and dislikes are of the members and sometimes if they need something to cheer them up just the right tune will appear oh we have a great deal of mirth and merriment in there and it is it's uplifting and healing and it's it's unique because it's it's certainly not your ordinary chat room it isn't i mean i work on a rain and myself as psychic john g you can see me there and uh, i sing as well but uh, in fact i was singing the other day uh, in in the style of a, a very famous uh, english comedian called George Formby. Uh, there may be people out there who remember George Formby from the 1940s, 1950s. He had a famous song called Cleaning Windows. I mean, can you imagine singing a song today about going around people's houses cleaning windows <laughs> and, and perving in at them? It went something like this. Are you ready? You should see what I can see when I'm cleaning windows. I, imagine that. You get arrested. You get arrested. <laughs> Imagine broadcasting the fact that you're going to go around, climb up on the roofs, and peering at people in the rooms. <laughs> George Formby. If you ever get a chance, from go and have a look at George Formby on YouTube. We've got a caller on the line here. Is it possible to speak to Joey? Hi. Is there anybody there? Yeah. Uh, hello, is that Joey? Joey, can you receive yes, me? me? Are you hearing me? Yeah, uh, I'm hearing you. Can you hear me? I can hear you now. You you sound very clear. Anyway, you sound a lot more confident. Yeah, there's confidence in your voice. We spoke the other week, and you wanted to I'm... sing to me, Joey. It's not possible to sing on this program, really, because of of, of the connection. But it's very nice of you yeah. to call in. You've got one or two questions. Do ask me a question quickly. Um. It's about I your health. Your health I... is going to be a lot better than you think it is. Tell me I'm right. Yeah. Yep. I am right about this. I know that I, know that I am, yeah? You, you're due for some kind of scheduled uh, medical intervention. Is that correct? Tell me I'm right, I yeah? I believe we lost, we lost Joey, John. Did we? Oh, well, 
Joey, it, it, I know you, you you can't call you can't call in there because we seem to have lost the line. But let me tell you this, Joey, uh, as I as I just heard your voice there, and it came to me very quickly. There is going to be some medical intervention uh, that that has to be taken for you, and I do feel just follow the advice of your doctors because the medical professionals uh, they absolutely do know best. Any alternative healing that you receive on top of that, and that, and of course people will offer you that, it, it is great. You take that as well. But follow the medical practitioner's advice. The medical intervention that you're going to get, and I believe it is a surgical intervention, uh, is going to be successful for you. And although you may feel extremely doubtful about the inter long term outcome, it is absolutely going to be fine. Have you got a quick message for Joey Countess? Yes, Joey, you definitely march to a different drummer, as many creative people do. Seek out people who understand you, and this will greatly aid you in the healing process. It will certainly, yes, and uh, Joey, that was coming to you through the ether via the Transformation Talk Radio Network. And online at WBLQ.net. And we'll be back straight after the break. invites you to join him for four exciting days in the art of advanced alchemy. Join his weekend intensive in Livingston, Montana, or on his worldwide broadcast May 1st through 4th. The master will share new alchemical formulas never before released. Experience Darshan with St. Germain responding to questions on advanced alchemy, all to help you live with greater flow and ease in dealing with life. For details of St. Germain's May 1st through 4th new advanced alchemical formulas, visit davidclewisclass.org. What if the world doesn't function the way we've been told? What if we truly can bend the laws of physical reality? What if we can end limitation? What if weird were the coolest thing you could be? And what if it's time for a totally different reality? Are you ready to create it? Are you ready to dream as big as you dare? Hi, my name is Dane here. 13 years ago, I started to truly ask questions. Actually, I started to be the question, and everything in my life changed for me. This is your invitation to step into something that Einstein, Marie Curie, Newton, Da Vinci, Shakespeare, Gandhi, Galileo, and Aristotle all knew to be true. It's not about the answer. It's about being the question, always. It's about truly being you, whatever that looks like, and changing this world. Is now the time? Start by signing up for a free video series at beingyouclass.com. That's beingyouclass.com. What if you are the gift and the change this world requires? Beingyouclass.com. Psychic World, Wednesday, 8 p.m. Pacific, 11 p.m. Eastern, with John G. Sutton, featuring his special guest, Countess Sturella. One of Britain's most respected psychic mediums, John is an internationally published author, poet, and professional clairvoyant. His best-selling books include Psychic Pets, featured with John on the Walt Disney Channel, Animal Planet. Currently, John is the feature editor of the monthly Psychic World, which is the UK's Journal of Spiritualism. He has over 30 years of experience working in the field of paranormal studies. Countess Torella has an incredible ability to visualize your future in a positive, passionate way. This show offers all listeners the chance to call in and speak directly to John or the amazing Countess Torella. You can ask your personal questions about love, career, money, relationships, or whatever is troubling you in this often difficult life. What dreams may come? Join John G. Sutton and Countess Torella to discover your answer. See www.psychicworld.net. Laura Longley is on a mission to remove stuckness from your life for good and replace it with happiness. Tune in Mondays at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern, and Tuesdays at 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com for The Laura Longley Show, where authentic change takes flight. Say yes to that inspired you and goodbye to your stuckness as Laura and her guests deliver powerful ways to work through common problems in this fun and unique hit show. 
Tune in each Wednesday at 1 p.m. Pacific Time, 4 Eastern Time on Transformation Talk Radio to Limelight Radio with Katina Macris. This is an inspirational, cutting-edge radio show educating worldwide listeners on a diversity of Lyme disease-related topics. Each week, Katina will interview some of the world's leaders in health, wellness, spirituality, and human potential. For more information, visit LimeLightRadio.com. Hello, my name is Dr. Friedman Schaub. Negative self-talk plays a major role in how we create fear and anxiety. You're probably familiar with that worried, insecure, or critical voice that rises from somewhere deep inside, often at the most inopportune moments. You don't seem to choose the limiting, anxiety-triggering, or self-sabotaging thoughts, nor do you seem to be in control of them. Over the years, I've found that rather than ignoring or suppressing these negative thoughts, what works best is to redirect the mind with at least three counterbalancing arguments that shed light on the opposite, positive points of view. For example, if your negative thought was something bad will happen, counterbalances could be right now I'm okay. There have been many times I was worried and everything turned out well. I have the strengths and abilities to handle anything that comes my way. Positive counterbalancing is training your mind to search for and find uplifting and empowering perspectives for any given situation. Good evening and welcome back to Psychic World. I am indeed John G. Sutton and I've got the amazing Countess Starella with me. She's wearing feathers in her hair. Ladies and gentlemen, she's got a hula hula skirt. What more do you want? Say hello, Countess. Heal the sick, raise the dead, and drive the men right out of their heads. That's my motto. <laughs> really? <laughs> there you go, folks. And don't forget, you can see Countess Starella at arraignum.com. And we're coming to you through the ether via the Transformation Talk Radio Network. And online at WBLQ.net. And we've got Joey back on the phone. Joey, are you there? I'm still here. Joey, yeah, I was saying before that you've got uh, a surgical uh, intervention ahead and you've got to have absolute faith in your medical professionals because they are going to complete this and you'll feel a great deal better than you imagine that you may do at the moment. I hope you've stopped smoking well, the cigarettes. Tell me you have. Um, I'm going to be working on it. So are you still, uh, you've got a menthol in your mouth at the moment? Not right now. I was about to light one up. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a break, yeah? Yeah, the, these menthol cigarettes uh, are, are all very well, but, I mean, smoking, I believe, is is very bad for you. I gave up 40 years ago. Joey, you've got a quick question yeah, you want to ask fun. me. And if it's yeah. about singing, no, I'm sorry we can't, but do hit me oh, with it. Go on. No problem. Uh, I think you want to know about your love life? Yeah, well, there is a certain... Uh, yeah. Because, Joey, let me tell you this, I feel that uh, y y y that your affections lie in a certain direction. Tell me I'm right. Hmm? Your affections right. lie in a certain direction. And, and there is, a, there is a, a, a gentleman in your life that, that you are dearly fond of, uh, that, that you have been to visit recently. Tell me I'm right. Yeah, I did. I did it last week at his work. Yeah, well, he has got a great deal of affection for you, and he, and he wants to come round to see you at your flat. You've got you've got an apartment or a flat? Tell me, I'm right, yeah? Yeah, I do have an apartment. Uh, and he wants to come and see you at the flat, and um, I don't I don't want to to be too uh, expressive about the intimate details, but this man has has got a desire for your body, and uh, <laughs> be honest, Joey. I think you've got There's a desire for him as well. There's something very things. special about that relationship. Tell me that I'm right. Yeah, right. You know we talked about this many times on Arenum. Yes, 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 that's right. Who so you, you, that is the gentleman, and he will be around. Have a quick word with the amazing Countess. Hello, darling. I'm okay. sending you a healing light. I want you to remember the Hello. song and sing it every day. Don't worry. Be happy. Be Happiness happy. is a choice, <laughs> and it can be chosen a hundred times a day, and it will elevate you. Don't to <laughs> Yeah. Okay. It will bring you up yeah. to your greatest potential of health and happiness. I just want Joel Goldman in my life. That's all I ever wanted. Well, that's right. Yes, that's the gentleman that I've told you about. And uh, believe me, 
that th there is going to be a, a definite positive move in that direction immediately ahead. Undertake, allow the uh, medical professionals to deal with your health problem. Joey, that's going to be fine. Uh, one of the things that's not helping you is the fact that you smoke. Uh, I'm a great yeah. uh, believer that you should stop doing that, and you'll feel a great deal better. This is going to be a good year for you. You come through certain problems. You've got a, a very nice uh, gentleman that's coming into your life. That that is that is the way you want it. Joey, thank you very much for calling in this evening. We will no doubt speak very soon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, Joey. That was a, a great call, Countess. I. I, John G. Sutton, I'm going to sing you a song. Would you like that? I would be flattered beyond all words. All right. Okay, well, I, I, I'm going to sing in the style of uh, Nat King Cole. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You remember Nat King Cole? Yes, yes. Um, this, is, this is Nat King Cole, the pizza delivery man from uh, Boston. <laughs> great, great pizzas, lousy singer. <laughs> Are you ready? Countess Starella, here we go, yeah. And now the purple dusk of twilight time steals across the meadows of my heart. High up in the sky, the little stars climb, always reminding me that we're apart. You wander down the lane and far away, leaving me a song that will not die. Love is now the stardust of yesterday, the music of the years. You were brilliant, and folks, you were rubbish. We'll be back. Aquilina, CEO and founder of Deer Defense, LLC. For over 15 years, I have been dedicated to tick reduction and the prevention of Lyme disease and other tick-borne diseases. Deer abatement and tick reduction is what we do, and it is all we do. We offer deer fence sales and installation, organic tick sprays, even a simple and inexpensive Lyme risk assessment for your property. Call or email us today at 203-550-8350 or deerdefense at gmail.com. That's D-E-E-R-D-E-F-E-N-C-E -E 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 at gmail.com. Chris Stainis is a spiritual leader and healer and teaches a course on how you can transform your life through a meditation and healing system that will manifest your spirit's dreams. She manifested the Women of Wisdom Conference, the Women of Wisdom book, and this radio show. And she can show you how to change your life, too. Are you ready? Visit the website and contact her at VoicesOfWomenToday.com. That's VoicesOfWomenToday.com. 
Psychic World, Wednesday, 8 p.m. Pacific, 11 p.m. Eastern, with John G. Sutton, featuring his special guest, Countess Torella. One of Britain's most respected psychic mediums, John is an internationally published author, poet, and professional clairvoyant. His best-selling books include Psychic Pets, featured with John on the Walt Disney Channel, Animal Planet. Currently, John is the feature editor of the monthly Psychic World, which is the UK's Journal of Spiritualism. He has over 30 years of experience working in the field of paranormal studies. Countess Dorella has an incredible ability to visualize your future in a positive, passionate way. This show offers all listeners the chance to call in and speak directly to John or the amazing Countess Dorella. You can ask your personal questions about love, career, money, relationships, or whatever is troubling you in this often difficult life. What dreams may come? Join John G. Sutton and Countess Dorella to discover your answer. See www.psychicworld.net. Tune in to Sheer Alchemy with Leslie Fontaine on TransformationTalkRadio.com and get ready to stir up your passions, remove your blocks, and shift into an entirely new existence. Speaker, teacher, channel, clairvoyant, Leslie Fontaine is a transformation catalyst who channels a powerful energy from source to catapult listeners into living the life they were born to live. Whether it's shifting from scarcity to abundance, from emotional pain into joy, or from illness into health, Leslie will help you step into the true essence and power of all that you are with the help of the Ascended Masters and Archangels. You will not be the same. Visit TransformationTalkRadio.com for show dates and times and LeslieFontaine.com to say yes to explosive abundance. Tune in to The Truth is Funny with Colette Steffen each Wednesday at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This hit show will have you thinking outside the box and riding the wave of infinite potential. Join Colette on the Higher Self Network, inspiring listeners to shine their brilliance and ensure success while roaring with laughter as they recognize the humor of the giant cosmic joke. Visit TheTruthIsFunny.com. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to one of the most interesting shows in radio history with John G., the master of Psychic World, and I, his co-host, Countess Starilla. Clairvoyant, clairvoyant. And I believe we have lovely Danielle on the phones waiting to ask a question. Are you with us, Danielle, darling? Yes, I'm here. Thank you for having me. Hi, Sugar. How can we help? Just about a relationship, a man in particular. Do you need a name? Sure, that would be great. Jeremy? And are you two currently an item? No, but I'm wondering about future potential. Have you ever been together <laughs> as partners? Yes. Yeah. Yes, we dated. And then what happened? He just disappeared on you? Well, you got a bit quiet. How old is he? I'm quiet. Mid-30s. And these days, do you have a little communication going on? Yeah, we do. Are you badly in love with him, Danielle? No, but since there's nobody else around yet. <laughs> you know what? That is not a good way to catch up with him. What I, here's my advice, just as if you were my little sister. Have fun with him. Throw the pearls in front of him. See if he's wise enough to pick up the pearls and diamonds that you're constantly laying at his feet. But absolutely do not shut the door on the person that is trying to find you, to fall in love with you. He's the only guy on the radar, but there's one in the shadows who's going to emerge. Will you give the new one a chance? If I like him. Uh, well, I would keep my standards rigorously high and oh, yeah. say, say to yourself, oh, my goodness, maybe I don't have to keep being patient. For Jeremy is just a little too slow for my taste. I don't you Aren't you getting frustrated with him? Yeah, like I said. He's the man of the hour, but he's not the only person in the picture. There's a very stunning, attractive sweetheart 
that I feel will cross your path before this month ends. See what he's all about. It doesn't mean you have to stop caring for Jeremy, but counting on Jeremy seems rocky to me. John, would you like to interject? Uh, interject, I'll interject, no problem at all. Daniela, listen, let me tell you this. Uh, I don't think Jeremy's going to make uh, make his mind up to make a move on this. I think you should put him in the picture and just say it looks like it's going nowhere. But there is going to be a gentleman comes into your life. I also feel there's going to be something to do. Have you dated somebody who's had anything to do with the fire service, like uh, a man in uniform? No, I haven't. Because I feel there's going to be a, um, a, a, t a tall man who, who has got... Who, he may have not do this now, but he has definitely had something to do with the fire service, like a, 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 an, a, an, an official capacity. And, and also, I hear the name of a place... Do you, do you know the place called San Diego? Yeah. Yeah, do you go somewhere near the beach there? Yeah, I do. Uh, because I can see something to do with the beach in San Diego. Also here in another town, uh, it may be a city, I don't know, because I'm in England, but that is Santa Barbara. Have you had anything to do with a place called Santa Barbara? I've been many times. Mm -hmm. Well, mark my words, and, and Mark is a name that comes to my mind. Mark, M-A-R-K. Uh, very often when I'm giving messages, it pops in my head, yeah? But Mark is a name, so if you don't know the name Mark, and there's something to do with S Santa Barbara, and something to do with somebody that's been involved in the fire service, very active ahead. Uh, Jeremy's going to make a further move, but it's going to be rather lackluster. So I think it's time you said to him, get the cards on the table, and, l and let's make a decision here. And Daniela, you've got a wonderful year ahead. You're going to enjoy this. It's going to be a great summer. And uh, down by is the there beach in uh, San Diego, you'll enjoy Sorry. it. Is there anything I can do or say to speed things up with Jeremy, or is he waiting for me? Yeah, you've, you've not got to make the move. It's not it's not right. He, he is the one that's got to make a move. I do feel he will contact you. I don't think he's going to be as forceful as you would like. But you're very soon going to find that there is another man finds you. And, and I do feel that once this happens, you know, then, then the choice is going to be yours. Daniela, do ring us in two weeks' time and tell us that you have connected uh, with another gentleman and that you've, you've put it to Jeremy that he makes his mind up, uh, either gets on the bus or gets off at the next, next stop. All right? Thank you, Daniela. Okay. Is Jeremy soon or when? Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Countess... Uh, I, I do feel that you that you that you're right. There has to be a decision made made there. Uh, we've got another caller on the line. I believe it's Gemma. Can we speak to? Is it Gemma? Jenna? Gina. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? A little bit. This is Gina. Gina. Hello there. I'm John G. Sutton, and you're through to Psychic World. And how can we help? Um, I just want some idea about my career. All right, okay. Have you been having to undergo some retraining or considering retraining concerning computers or a new system? No. Because there's definitely, I can see computers, but it looks like you're dealing with a new, uh, they call them platforms, don't they, on the, on the, on the screens when you see them, yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel that there's going to be some new a new computer system or new computer program that, that you're going to be looking at. I also feel that you're going into, into New York City. Have you worked in New York City in the past? Oh, yeah, that's where I am. I work in New York right. City. Because I, I feel it's an office in New York City, yeah? Uh, and, and also, let me tell you the, the name of the, the number of the street that I see. Strange what I see, yeah? Have you done any work at all in the past around 45th Street? 45th, I might have, yes. I, I'm always in that area. Right, well, it's, it's, it's either on or just off. 45th Street. That's not very bad coming from England, is it? <laughs> Name the street, yeah? But you are going to get, you're going to get uh, another position there, yeah? Uh, and also I feel that you are used to being uh, like, like in, in, in a managerial position. You'll be put in charge of staff. Just have a quick word with my friend, the amazing Countess. Gina, are you now in Hi. the career of your dreams? Uh, somewhat, yes. And what is your, uh, your hope? What do you hope to achieve this year? Well, I want to get better at what I do um, or make more money, I would say, in the same thing that I'm doing. I like st uh, styling, styling people in clothing. Oh, boy. Boy, have you come to the right psyche. Yes, indeed. 
This is my passion, designing and styling. My cousin was Dolly Parton's hairdresser for 10 years. <laughs> I love this, and it's something you were born for. You've just got the knack for it. So I want you to say every day, oh, my God, it's fun to be rich and famous. I love what I'm doing, and everyone comes to me for my help. With your ability to see it, say it, and feel it, nothing can stop you. The money part seems to be easy. It's just getting out there and allowing the greatest people to know who you are. You, you're going to do really well this year and next year. Be confident. Be brave. This is so exciting. I'm so happy for you. You found a <laughs> what special are the words, place for yourself. What are the words that you just said to me that I should say? You want to say, I love being rich and famous. Everybody wants me to help them and work for them. Okay. I like that. You like that, Danielle, yeah? Mm -hmm. Believe me, there's something you're going to be doing. It's linked to the net. It's linked to computers, whether it's styles that you put up there and... Uh, different designs that you've done one way or the other this is going on the internet this is going on computers people are going to be using that system you're going to have people working for you i feel that it's central new york i feel it's around 45th street i feel that you will be a, a great success you've got to develop your own business you've got to run it yourself is that your aim and ambition well yeah i did have my own business before well that's right you've got to do it again and i want to have do it again big style <laughs> and I want to oh. do it again, yes. You, you will do it again. And as I said, you're going to be in charge of people. So this this is happening for you. Daniela, uh, Gina, I'm just calling you Daniela there. Gina, thank you very much for calling in. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Ring us next year, Gina, and tell us your amazing success. We're coming towards the end of the of the show, Countess. It's been very quick this evening, hasn't it? Wow. Psychic what world, show? yeah? What a show. <laughs> on Transformation Talk Radio. Yeah, we've enjoyed this very much. Ladies and gentlemen, this show's all about you. We've had some wonderful callers this evening. Uh, and Joey, don't worry, your, your procedure will work perfectly fine. Make a note of this number, please, ladies and gentlemen, and you ring us in next week. It's 1-800-930-2819. And you can speak to myself or the amazing Countess Starrella. Isn't that right, Countess? Yes, indeed. Remember, we love you. We're standing beside you. And we're going to help you make your dreams come true. Well, we'll certainly try because Psychic World, it's all about you, your hopes, your aims, your dreams and ambitions. And if we can help, then we will. This evening, it's all been all about spirit guides. And our spirit guides have been helping us. And we hope sincerely that we have been helping you. We will be back next week. And please do call in. The number's 1-800-930-2819. I'm John G. Sutton. Look me up on Google. John G. Sutton and the amazing Countess Starella. Speak to you next week. You've been listening to Psychic World with John G. Sutton, featuring his special guest, Countess Starella. Tune in each Wednesday, 8 p.m. Pacific, 11 p.m. Eastern, for one of Britain's most respected psychic mediums. John is an internationally published author, poet, and professional clairvoyant. Countess Sterella has an incredible ability to visualize your future in a positive, passionate way. This show offers all listeners the chance to call in and speak directly to John or the amazing Countess Sterella. You can ask your personal questions about love, career, money, relationships, or whatever is troubling you in this often difficult life. What dreams may come? Join John G. Sutton and Countess Sterella to discover your answer. See www.psych.com. PsychicWorld.net. See you next week. Want to improve your spiritual connection? Connect with a loved one in the spirit world. Develop your spiritual gifts? Call respected, recognized, gifted, intuitive, medium, and spiritual teacher Jennifer Farmer to schedule your transformative, in-depth reading. These powerful sessions offer healing insights from the spirit world and personal guidance for all areas of your life. Call Jennifer at 727-324-9668. That's 727-324-9668. And visit JenniferFarmer.com. Where do you desire to go in life? How do you plan to get there? Are you only looking outside yourself for the answers? 
What if you use your soul's wisdom to lead the way? So what is the soul and how do you access its wisdom? Soul Suitcase with Victoria Cohen will unpack these questions and help you tap into and trust your own inner voice to solve everyday problems. Your Soul Suitcase is a treasure chest of wisdom inside you waiting to be discovered. Listen to Soul Suitcase on TransformationTalkRadio.com and discover how awakening to your inner voice transforms your life. Tune in to Sheer Alchemy with Leslie Fontaine on TransformationTalkRadio.com and get ready to stir up your passions, remove your blocks, and shift into an entirely new existence. Speaker, teacher, channel, clairvoyant, Leslie Fontaine is a transformation catalyst who channels a powerful energy from source to catapult listeners into living the life they were born to live. Whether it's shifting from scarcity to abundance, from emotional pain into joy, or from illness into health, Leslie will help you step into the true essence and power of all that you are with the help of the Ascended Masters and Archangels. You will not be the same. Visit TransformationTalkRadio.com for show dates and times and LeslieFontaine.com to say yes to explosive abundance. You can have it all. Join Dr. Richard Bartlett and Melissa Joy for our mind-blowing Festival of the Healing Arts coming to Seattle May 16th through the 25th. For the first time, we'll be teaching the entire Matrix Energetic Seminar package back-to-back in one location. And this is the thing I like about Matrix Energetics. There are many theories and and, uh, concepts out there about using quantum physics and other aspects that we know of, that science now knows of, that... The world around us is essentially made out of energy and information, but Matrix Energetics gives you the insights that you need, the consciousness technology, if you will, to apply that in your own world and bring about the change that you would like to see. Matrix Energetics, consciousness technology for transformation and healing. Join us for a free introductory course Friday, May 16th from 7 to 9 p.m. Seminars will be at the Doubletree Seattle Airport. Visit MatrixEnergetics.com for a seminar coming to a city near you. Come as you are and leave transform if you're one of the millions of americans suffering from anxiety you probably know how powerless and out of control this emotion can make you feel this is why it is so important to remember that anxiety is created by your mind which means that you can learn to use your mind to uncreate it hello my name is dr friedman schaub my award-winning book the fear and anxiety solution provides you with a step-by-step breakthrough process to understand and resolve the root causes of your anxiety and build a solid foundation of confidence and inner peace. If you are ready to take your power back, visit thefearandanxietysolution.com. That's thefearandanxietysolution.com. Or call 866-903-6463. That's 866-903-6463. Mind. I'm Christine Upchurch, and this is a Stellar Reflections Minute. Years ago, when facing cancer without any immediate treatment options, I sought healing by making various life changes. For a while, I followed a very restrictive diet. I often found myself obsessing about which foods were good and which ones were bad. Then one day, I realized I was consuming foods based on fear fear of not getting well. But I didn't want to make choices out of fear anymore. I decided it was far better for my immune system if I allowed myself to experience the joy that came from, say, eating frozen yogurt, than it was for me to ingest the fear that came from avoiding it. Now, instead of choosing healthy habits based on fear, I try to make choices because they feel right and ultimately bring me joy and ease. How many of your healthy habits are really based on fear? Please visit StellarReflections.com or call 425-999-9836. That's 425-999-9836. Tune in to Psychic Cup of Coffee with Kelly Sutliff every Tuesday, 1 p.m. Pacific Time, 4 p.m. Eastern Time on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Kelly is a 14-year veteran of psychic ability, and she offers inspiration and comfort to those dealing with grief when they have lost a loved one, and also shares with people that the psychic world is very real. Call 1-800-930-2819 during the show with your questions and visit PsychicMediumKelly.com. That's PsychicMediumKelly.com. Chris Stainis is a spiritual leader and healer and teaches a course on how you can transform your life through a meditation and healing system that will manifest your spirit's dreams. 
She manifested the wisdom.